Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kenise and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, then I do fashion, lifestyle and brands and makeup content. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in seeing, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at girlish.876. If it is not your first time here, then welcome back to you, my girlish fam. All right, so recently I made a little trip to Devon House to have me a little um, massage and stuff at the spa. No worry, I'm going to do a review so I can look out for that. Yeah, I'm going to have Right, so I decided to pop in to this place called The Commissary, which is relatively new. Now, how I, how I even found out about them, like a couple of days before I was supposed to go to Devon House, um, I saw this YouTuber that I follow, Shante Laney. Really love her content, so you guys can check her out. I saw her post about the tiramisu, and being the foodie that I am, yeah, I'm going to follow the trailer, breadcrumbs, I'll find them. <laughs> And once I saw, it looked very intriguing. So I was like, you know what? Let me make a stop there. So I went, um, I had posted it on my Instagram and actually quite a few persons reached out to me and said that this is somewhere that they have been wanting to try. So I thought, you know what? Let me do a review. So this is what this is. So you guys just stay tuned for that review. All right, so just a little bit of background because I like to do these things before I do um, the reviews. I went ahead and reached out to the Instagram page. So they told me that it was co-owned by Saj and Sim. Hope I'm pronouncing that last one correctly. And they said they wanted to have a place where they could express themselves creatively as well as um, put their favorite Jamaican artisans on display, which is pretty much what you see when you go in there, right? So um, Sim is originally from Austria, but she was raised in Jamaica. Um, Saj is Jamaican, she's away for a while and now she's back and now they have this little beautiful baby that they have created um, to express themselves. It's open on the 27th of May so it is pretty, it is pretty new. Um, so yeah, when you go in there now, it's a kiosk at the front. So it's a kiosk um, at the front of Devon House pretty much. So once you go in through the gate, you're going to, you pass the security, you're going to see like a set of shops to your left, um, it's over there. So I'm gonna insert some clips so you guys can see what it is. So they have a bunch of stuff in there. Like there's a lot of stuff that's packed into that little store. So they have dips, they have cookie dough, they have the tiramisu, they have um, some chocolate mousse thing with some brownie that I was hearing people talk about. They have sorbets, they have popsicles. And guys, the popsicles, they have alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So there's some grown-up popsicles. Okay. All right. So they have those. And they also have stuff from a bunch of Jamaican-made um, companies on display. I saw a stitch in the bush there. I saw some canvas. There's a canvas bag with some things on there. Um, what else did I see? Some wooden stuff, like some wooden bowls and whatever. I'll show. Again, I'll insert the little videos that I have for you guys. Um, but I like it. It's a nice little vibe in there. Like I said, even though it's a lot of stuff that's packed in there, in there looks pretty cool. And I really love the idea of the non of the um the alcoholic popsicle. All right, so we're just gonna get straight into the review. Lucky for me, just before I filmed the video, I actually saw where she had up um, like a price list. So I'm going to insert that as well for you guys. All right. So there's also a WhatsApp um, list that you can be added to where they send out like shoot out notifications daily to let you know what is there. So now I got three things. I got two popsicles, um, the grown up type, you know what I'm saying? I got the mixed berry 
mixed berry mojito the strawberry rose and the tiramisu so i've already had the mixed berry mojito it tastes exactly like a mojito so if you are not a fan of that drink then you're not going to like it but i have non-alcoholic ones like i said if you're not a fan of a mojito you're not gonna like it but it legit like as you open the bag like you smell the alcohol and you can actually taste some of the berry bits in there so that was really good i think these popsicles would be such a great pairing like if you go to the beach you just buy a couple, a couple of these pop it in your igloo and you are good to go it's it's a whole entire vibe so i'm gonna be trying the strawberry rosé and the tiramisu for you guys here on camera so let's go <clears throat> all right so i love the branding on this Okay, so this is a strawberry rosé, and listen to me, my heart like thin fire side, so this should be really good. Yeah, like my freezer was kicking y'all, so. Ooh, it's like a adult kisco. Oh wow, I love this one. Oh my god, this one is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, kisco for two. Mmm. Mmm. If you love, um, I'm not really getting the alcohol that much in this one. So I like it. There's strawberries, which is sweet, but it has a hint of sourness. And I, if you know me, I love things with a hint of sourness. Oh, and then you get the, oh my goodness, like it's the aftertaste of the rose. It just kind of hit me. I love this this one you guys have to try these ones if you like strawberry stuff if you like things that are sweet with a little tubes or so on and then the alcohol aftertaste this is really good i actually prefer it to the mixed berry mojito because i want to try but this, this is so good and like i said this is like a grown-up and adult kisco and definitely guys if you're going on a beach trip or something soon i would recommend getting these just because like, i think it'd be so good for like a whole beach vibe picture up on the beach sea sun all them nice this day and this oh i really want to finish i want to finish having this but like i have to try the the tiramisu so i love her branding though like i said this is really cute i think it's perfect because it's getting so hot now so like this is a must okay you're going to need these to cool off mm -mm. like it just leaves the alcohol is not overpowering so if you're like me we're you like to taste the alcohol but you don't want it to overpower your stuff then definitely get this one all right so i'm about to try the tiramisu which is what i'm really excited about but oh my god i was expecting this to taste so good girl you do something with that one day all right so this is the tiramisu again the branding which i love this is what it looks like i've been seeing people rave about this so like i really want to try it um made in jamaica Okay, so that's what it looks like. It smells very coffee-esque, so which is a tiramisu anyways, but it smells very coffee-esque. So just so you guys like heads up. Alright. I'm not trying to take a lot because I want to go back to that. So that's my bite. Mmm. This is nice. So, oh girl, oh wait, like there's some, mm -hmm, there's some stuff down the bottom. Let's get all of that in this bite, okay? Mmm, mm mmm, -hmm. mmm. -hmm. When you get it with everything, mmm, it's so good. It's so smooth, very very smooth and creamy. The coffee doesn't overpour. Like, you get the hints of the coffee, but it doesn't overpour it at all. So, guys, I'll give this a go ahead. Definitely. This is somewhere that you would want to try. Like, but just really want to go back <laughs> to the popsicle. <laughs> I seriously, I need it because I am burning up right now. But this was actually pretty good. Like, I like this. So, definitely, if you've been thinking about trying them, then I would go ahead. Like, there has to be something in there for everybody because there's a variety of stuff. It's a small store, but they pack a lot of stuff in it. Just like how you got that tiny popsicle and it packs a lot of flavor and a lot of punch. Guys, definitely, like, I'm still 
tasting that tiramisu that is good guys that is real good so overall i think from what i've tried um i'm gonna say maybe like an eight or a nine um just because like i said the mojito was really really strong <laughs> but if, if you like them something to 10 for you um i would have loved to see your prices i don't recall seeing your prices in the actual store so i think that would be something good to add um but yeah i really love it i love the concept i love stuff with everything that is sprinkled with jamaica all over it. you guys know this i'd be interested to try their dips i usually get the um the marlin dip from fromage i usually eat that so i'll, I'll be interested to see so hope you guys liked this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel share the video if you found the content helpful leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know have you been wanting to try this place would you be trying this place based off of what i said and as always guys keep safe and walk well, good yeah i don't know what to make either popsicle you know yeah and that me go do Good man. Oh my god. Look like a seal Can you see the strawberry bits in it? Girl, you didn't have to.